My brother and I got an apartment together, and it went like this. Hey man, this look pretty good, man. Where your clothes at? How much was it? Uh, 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 how much was it? They gave it to me. So you're not gonna tell me how much was it? They gave it to me. I don't believe you. Why? How are they gonna give you something like that? They gave this. They gave. They were like, hey, like, okay, yeah, they gave it to me. No, they didn't. Here comes the boy. <laughs> Hello plant friends, a lot of you ask me how I water my hanging plants. The two main questions I hear is, does water drip out of the bottom of the pot after I water or do I remove them from the macrame when I water? The answer to both questions is no because I keep the saucers in the macrame to catch the draining water. I water from the top like normal, making sure the water runs out the drain hole. I try to aim for just a little bit of water collecting in the saucer and then I just let the plant soak it back up with time. However, sometimes I do overwater, and that's where a turkey baster comes in handy. I always keep a turkey baster around when I'm watering my plants just to make sure I can soak up any extra water. Thanks for watching and follow for more plant care tips. They say what you surround yourself with is a reflection of who you are. And I finally understand why I buy so many house plants because I'm also constantly dehydrated and will wither away and die from a lack of attention. Thank you. People always ask, isn't it too much? But I'm like, it'll never be enough. Never. It'll never be enough. Like never ever. It's never enough. And it will never be enough. Big plant you know boys it, and pole dancing queens. Lean back, lean back, I bounce. Lean back, lean back, I shake, lean back.
today's episode of plantifying my bedroom today we're going to be creating a floating plant wall behind my bed found these pot holder rings on amazon but they only came in black so i got some rub and buff to make them gold to match the other accents in my bedroom the idea is for these plants to frame the mirror that i thrifted to eventually have the vines trail around the perimeter of the mirror to create this really dreamy, ethereal vibe. Luckily, these pot holders were super easy to put up and came with all the materials that you need. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the end result. I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments. Here's how I train the vines to climb the wall. We use push pins that have a hook at the end. So the hole they leave is small and you can just push it in like so. Then you just go ahead and take your trailing vine and arrange it how you want it. And there you go. Hi friends, how are you feeling today? I rearranged my room, including some plant stuff, so I wanted to show you. My goal was to be able to fit this couch in here that, of course, now my dog loves sitting on. I was able to do this by basically turning his crate into my plant stand. <laughs> so I still have my big hanging plants that you've seen in other videos, but I've moved some other plants around. If you follow me for a while, you know hanging plants are my absolute favorite. Here's one of my faves, my Syndapsis pectus. Here's some other plants, my snake plant collection, some Pothos philodendron. I moved some lights around to make it a little bit more cozy. And I love being next to the plants on my couch when my dog isn't there. Not plant related, but I was really proud of my desk areas now tidied. Of course, I'm not done. I still have to put all that stuff away. And I have this big stack of papers I need to sort through adulting. We'll get there. Time for some natural, easy garden art. We'll start with six willow branches and lash them together. Spread them out like a star, and then we're going to start putting in a weaver, a nice skinny one to start, and we're just gonna go back and forth. We're gonna fill in all those gaps back and forth. You don't have too much here, we're just making a base. Now we'll just gather up all those sides and just pull them up all around, kind of a teardrop shape, and then we're gonna just lash it together at the top. Snippy, snip, snip. We'll slide a pot in there and then we're going to plant it up with some hanging flowers and we'll have a beautiful rustic hanging flower basket for spring. How many girls do you know actually have hobbies? Like some girls, like they knit or they read or something like that. Dude, shout out to girls that knit. Shout out to my queens that know how to knit, make yeah. a blanket, a scarf, gloves. Talk like about a green flag, eh? Dude, that's a green flag. My mom did it. My Nana did it. My aunts. Like women back in the day just learned how to do things. That to make a public service announcement about something that's been really troubling to hear recently. There's been an increase in drug overdoses and suicides across the country, especially in young adults. Let's remember to look out for each other and be conscious. These are some very difficult times, but if we work together, we can get through them. Dante do it shit like Back with the plastic flowered cactus at Home Depot. But what's this? Real flowers, real pink flowers are growing out of these. Can we please stop with the plastic now?